All right, first day. Well, looks like I'm actually doing this, huh? Jeez. I wasn't expecting this to be so nerve-wracking, though. I'm usually not one to worry so much about things like this, but there's a lot riding on this. I mean, will it actually work? Will we be able to get Todd and the rest of them to finally leave me alone? Will I be able to get my reputation back? And most importantly, will he... Oh, <laughs> hey. Jeez, what took you so long to get here? Don't you know what time it is? We've got three minutes until the bell rings, you jerk. <sighs> Look... I don't like school any more than you do. If we weren't doing this, I'd want to be fashionably late like usual, but this is not the time for that. I sent you a text saying everything I wanted to do today. Did you even read that? I said to be at least 15 minutes early so I could prep you. <laughs> so you didn't read it, huh? Honestly... Trusting you to do a damn thing to make this easier for me? <laughs> what a joke. What do you mean I never... Okay, show me your messages. Right now. Because there's no way I didn't send that message. That... Isn't... There. No... That's not possible. I I must have sent it. You must have just deleted it to mess with me, didn't you? I'll just check my phone to see if it... Message not sent. Oh my god. Why did I think it was a good idea to send that message in the middle of a tunnel? Ugh, we are so screwed. Alright, listen up. We have less than a minute to prep you, so I'm only going to say this once. We're going to walk in there, hand in hand, you with your arm around my shoulder, me probably making goo-goo eyes at you or something, and once we get to our lockers, we can split off and get ready for our classes. If they ask us any questions, all we have to do is... Damn it, it's the bell. Just get into position and hope no one wants to ask about any of this. Oof. Okay. So far, so good. Looks like as though no one wants to approach us. In fact, they all look frozen to their spots. Oh, come on. I'm sure even you have to appreciate all the shocked looks on their faces. I mean, you and me, in a relationship? No one could have ever expected it. Just look at Megan over there, eating all this up. The little gossip she is. I'm sure the popular group is gonna hear about this before we even get to our lockers. And there's that nerd group you always hang out with, gawking at me like usual. If it wasn't for the look of jealousy they have towards you right now, I'd almost suspect that there was nothing different. Oh, and what's this? I spy with my little eye, the cameraman for the school tabloid. Smile for the camera, babe. Really? You can't just smile at the camera to keep the charade? At least pretend you're happy to be with me. You're going to start other rumors about us if you don't. Other than that, though, you're doing... fine, I guess. Hmm? Hey, what's that look on your face for? I really hate when you give me the silent treatment, you know. Blushing? I- I am not blushing. And- even if I was, it's just because it's so embarrassing having to be so close to you like this. Not to mention all the physical contact and having to look at you like I'm anything but mortified. It's not like I'm used to being touched like this anyway. Hey, don't stop, idiot! 
We're supposed to stay like this until we get to our lockers. Of course, Todd and I did this kind of thing. Well, in the beginning, at least. And besides, what about you? You call me out on blushing, and you're doing the same thing. Hypocrite. What, never touched a woman like this before? Yeah, I thought so. Look, I'm really not trying to put you down here, but this stuff's really embarrassing for me too, so expect some clapback. But, I mean, it's not like you're so bad at it. You're a lot gentler than Todd, at least. Come on, chin up a little. If you're gonna be seen as my boyfriend, you've gotta show me some confidence. Okay, there's our lockers. Jeez, you'd think with how long we've been walking and talking, we'd have looped the school a few times by now. Now all that's left is to share one last disappointed look for the onlookers before separating in- Oh, Todd. Hey, what are you doing here? What am I doing with him? Well, wouldn't that be obvious? I'm showing off my brand spanking new boy toy around the school. I mean, since you decided all on your own it was okay to play around with other girls, why shouldn't I be able to do the same? Oh, and don't bother denying you cheated on me. I have all the screenshots to prove it. So you really think that I'm still going to want to be with you after finding out you cheated with almost all of my friends? You think I'm just going to be a part of your little harem because you're the school quarterback? Jeez, you're even dumber than I thought. And that's saying a lot. How did this happen, you ask? Well, it's quite simple. Like a real man, he saw how you tore apart my feelings, and he wanted to treat me better. He swept me off my feet right then and there, and I fell in love on the spot. Yeah, I know that story's bad, but what do you expect when my only relationship experience is with this lug nut? Just roll with it. Besides, look at him. <laughs> he believes it. Honestly, why did I even think taking you as a boyfriend was a good idea? I barely treated you better than a lapdog, and yet there was someone here that was worth being treated as an equal all along. How the tables turn. Do you get it now, toddy boy? I don't need a boy like you anymore. All I needed was a real man to just take what he wanted and I'm putty in his hands. He's already a better man than you ever were, and we only just started dating. You might as well just leave before my new boyfriend has to show you just how inferior you are. <laughs> Prove it. And why should we have to? I've already shown the entire school just how pathetic you are, so if anything, you should prove why you even deserve your reputation, much less why I should come back to you. You... what? You wouldn't. That's something you said you'd take to your grave. You'd really leak something like that to the tabloid for something so stupid like this? Ugh. You know what? Fine. You really want me to show how much I like him? Well, you better watch close. Because I'm gonna show you all the best damn show of your life. Come here, babe. Look, I know full well he's bluffing. That gets out to the school and he goes down too, but if I don't rise up to his challenge, everyone's gonna find it suspicious. I hate to say it, but whether he realizes it or not, the bastards outsmarted us. So I'm gonna need you to kiss me. Yeah, I know damn well what I said, but none of them are gonna be satisfied with some limp hug or hand-holding. Just do it and thank me later. Ooh. 
Like I said, Todd, we're through. I'm not staying with a cheating piece of crap like you anymore. So what if we never kissed on the lips like that? You were clearly never worth it, so I just did it for someone who was. I think it's about time you leave before you embarrass yourself even further. Oh, and while you're at it, tell the rest of the popular kids that I'm not dealing with their crap anymore. <sighs> oh god, finally he left. I almost thought he was never going to leave us alone. Oh, come on. What's that look for? It's just a kiss. What's the big deal? Oh, that's right. You let me find out you've never even touched a girl romantically, let alone kissed one. Aw, poor baby. Was that your first kiss? How lucky for you to lose it to me. <laughs> hmm? Uh, yeah. I did say Todd was my only relationship experience. Why do you ask? Yes, I did say that I didn't... Oh no, you are not bringing this back on me. I'll have you know I've kissed plenty of guys you don't know about, so... Okay, yeah, I know how that sounded too. I regretted saying it the moment it came out of my mouth. Fine, you win, all right? That was my first kiss too. I swear to God, if I ever find out you told someone that, I will ruin you. Your life will be a living hell if you tell someone you, of all people, were my first kiss. Got it? Ugh. This is just getting awkward now. Let's just get our stuff and head back to class. Just meet back up with me at lunch so we can talk about the rest of the week. Oh, and by the way, once we get to the dance, you'd better be dressed as immaculately as possible. I will not be going to the fall dance with someone who's just in a lazily put-together tuxedo. Alright, I'm going now, and don't wait up for me.